today and people wanted to see an aquarium being made for the tavern that we've been making so that's what we're going to be doing i have already started making it but let's get into it now i am here to answer any and all of your questions regarding um sandbox box edit all of that fun stuff hopefully we won't have any issues with the camera um I think my mic might be a little bit too quiet. Let me know how that is. But yeah, let's get into the aquarium. So what I have done is I already chose the size and I used the uh, block tool right here, selected this, gone up just under halfway. And this is going to be bigger than the height of a human. So this is going to be taller than a human. I definitely wanted something big. So this is going to be bigger than a human the length is also quite long as well width not so much 45 it's not going to be very wide but this is the way i've decided to do it to be able to make it really seem like an aquarium from all angles now because this is for our fantasy tavern it's going to have some weird wonderful creatures but i'm going to want to add these so this is the main thing I've done. So I just started with this to give it that glass look. I've done a gray border right here, which is, oh, it's actually two shades darker. Wait, yeah. Okay, I wanna go for just one shade difference to really make it seem like it's got that, that same one. Hey, crazy power, how you doing? And we've uh, illuminated this color right here and we've done that by clicking this little star up here and that will allow you to be able to see the um to illuminate this like the border which gives it a little bit more of a glass look and 
then pretty much what I've done is chopped it in half, really. So we're gonna have like a design this side and a design that side to really make it look like we've still got the water and stuff. We'll probably add a little bit more design on the inside of this, but for now we're gonna leave it. We've done the sides. So we've got one side, some fish, some little um, plants same over this side and we've got like a weird octopusy type creature right here but yeah let me know how you guys are doing so what we're gonna do i've already made this so i'm just gonna save it or actually wait no the first thing we're gonna do is set to floor so it can be centered perfectly and go over to the animator and we need to put it into our random bits tap in interior aquarium and we're gonna call it uh final uh off gonna miss stream today oh call of duty league finals no problem pierre appreciate you stopping by to say hello and i think i'm only on for an hour you're not gonna miss too much we're just doing a lot of little arty bits and pieces making this cool aquarium uh probably going to add animation to it as well because all the animation is going to happen inside so the collision issues are only going like they're not going to go past this initial build right here which is perfect oh i've made a mistake control node and then we put the tank off of that my bad right there we go but there we go so we've got the tank now i do want to just go to the templates and we should have a small fish so we got a small fish um we're gonna call it fish one so you can look, recolor do whatever you want with these templates um i'm just gonna leave it like this because i just want to check how it's going to look so, uh, and we're going to call this fish one and we're going to import, going to import this dude. Now we, uh, we don't need to unlock him because he's been imported into this. I do think he might be a little bit too big, but we'll, we'll go with it for now. Looks good. I, you like the squid? Thanks. Thanks, I appreciate that. Right, what we do need to do is we need to keep the idle, but we are going to delete these other animations just because this isn't going to be like a fish like we normally do. Oh, uh, and again, wait, he should. I'm just going to test this. I'm a bit worried I'm going to break it. No, the fish is fine. Beautiful. Right. So we got the fish in here. No animations on it. I like that. We are going to be making our own fish as well. But we are also going to just uh, duplicate this and we're going to call this uh, fish 1B. And fish 1B is going to go over here. Oh, why are you not scented fish for me? There we go. Ah, odd, but that is what it is. Let's get fish 1B in here. Maybe even have it just a little bit up here. Right there, lovely. We've got a fish up there. Oh, let's center this cool so we are going to recolor this fish mainly because we don't want it to just be a black and white fish hey kinky how you doing am i frozen by the way no i'm not frozen um there has been an issue with my camera but 
I do think that it might be fixed. I followed some tutorials on how to do like a fix for it. So I'm hoping it definitely is fixed. We're going to give this fish like... We're just going to be recolouring it nice and simple. And... Really need to make the fish checkered. I'm not going to keep it all this colour, but we can definitely... Right, let's give its bottom fin, let's give it a bit for its tail. Right there, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. This top bit can also be orange. So this is just a very normal normal looking fish that we got going on here its mouth can be kind of yellow i guess the inside perfect just need to double check that right it's the darkest one and let's trim the volumes lovely all right let's do the little let's do the little fin fish 1b is a rebel because it's not it's not straight <laughs> All right, so gonna choose this and just gonna color that. Beautiful, done. And same with this one. It's a little bit annoying having to go back and forth, back and forth, but this is what it is. This is why a lot of people have been talking about using Magicka Voxel because you can just like recolor pretty much everything be super super handy oh i didn't check what well, what red was it for his body oh plus we we missed a section that's handy right oh it's red number two everybody remember red number two red number two okay down, work your way down, get, get it set. Done. And just double check. Volumes are trimmed. And we'll do the tail. I think we'll just do the tail in the orange as well. Uh, that one. And because we've duplicated the node, whatever we do to this also happens to the other fish. I think the only thing that didn't was the the trim. There we go. No. Yep, that's that's trimmed. Lovely. Okay, so it's all they're both the exact same fish, just in different positions. Liking it. Red two. Thanks, Grey Gear. Appreciate that. Okay, so we've got our two little fishes, um, and all we did right there was i just used the template that is already provided by the sandbox in the vox edit and um i made a fish one and we've got a fish one b there that i've also got but we named it that clicked and then we import hierarchy um and then we just imported that over into it so just make sure that when you're doing that you go to templates and you open up one of the templates and yeah there there you go you've got you've got that bad boy in there now to make our own there's a couple of things that we could obviously do we could what i could do is i could um duplicate all of this and do a not duplicate sorry do a copy of this which i will do i'm gonna call this uh fish two now I've got fish two right here and I can just do an edit myself on this fish number two which is what I am going to do it's not going to look anything like this it's just easier doing it this way than going back into the modeler and redoing a whole bunch of stuff so what I actually want to do is I want to not that one not that one either 
This one. There we go. This is what I want to do. And... I want to make it uh, 16 high. Just shimmy that on up. Uh, I think the width is fine because it's got to fit in that tank. Um, we'll probably make it slightly, slightly bigger. We're probably not going to fill that gap, but I do like to have a little bit of room to experiment. Get rid of that, gonna get rid of that. Okay, so we've already sort of started work on making this look creepy. We're going to shimmy it roughly to the middle. And I'm going to just give it a few weird eyes. I don't know what we're making here. This is purely just coming out of my head as I'm imagining it pretty much. We're going to give it some like weird, weird eyes. I feel like a slightly dark blue right there. Actually, no. Don't want it to mix in with the water that it's going in too much. Do that and give it like not an orange eye. Mixes too well. Do yellow, but we'll. In fact, you know what? We'll do. We'll do like the bright yellow on almost all of it. There. Uh, it's just a little bit more creepy. Hey! Andy Ritchie, boop goop. Boop goop. Guys, if you need to know literally anything about the game maker, you need to ask Andy Ritchie because he is a pure game maker genius. 100% game maker genius. I'm too kind it's true though it's it's true it's super super true right this is this is looking progressively creepy right are we all equally creeped out do you know what we could do we could just make this whole bit like a giant giant eye No, I think I liked it being like that. Alright, are we all creeped out by this creation? I'm gonna add a few bits to it, but this is the main body to fish number two. Now, remember, this is meant to be like weird. Right, I need some pictures of weird, weird, wonderful things. Also, please tell me if I freeze because I'm not always looking to see whether I'm frozen or not. Okay, there are some definitely weird creatures if you Google fantasy fish. Um, definitely nothing that I can make because these are really small things that I've got to make. So definitely nothing I can go into detail with. But that's some really cool stuff, by the way. Touche! How are you doing? Okay, and then we want to do. We're gonna copy this, and we're gonna call it um, fish to leg. Just so I I know what it is, and we need to make the height a five. And we're going to go with this, red number two. There we go. I'm pretty happy with that. 
and that is literally all we're doing with that thing um i'm doing all right how am i doing uh do the blob blob fish what's a blob fish blob blob fish is is that just a blob oh my god oh 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 it looks so sad oh i thought this is what it would be but i i didn't really need to see it did i why does it look so awful gosh nature can be really cruel uh but yeah touche i'm not doing too bad i wasn't really feeling it earlier i was a lot like uh because it has been non-stop for me this week absolutely non-stop and i was like do i need to can i not just go to bed at eight o'clock but no uh, yeah constant non-stop absolute no no rest for the wicked right we want to create we're gonna call this uh fish two yeah just fish two the fish one can go fish one b can go and fish two oh you know what we didn't center we didn't center this bad boy there we go And then uh, create a fish to leg. Just gonna have one real random leg, guys. Okay. Kind of looks like he's got a walking stick. Uh, how do I see your NFTs already done? Um, so I'll, I'll get a link. So I only have two for the minted on the sandbox and I will get a link for those. Wait, am I still logged in? Cool. All right, and I will get a link to those. Oh, there's been a lot of stuff minted. Oh wait, I'm looking on the wrong page. That might be why. Right, here's one. Get to copy. Okay, so this will link you there and then it'll have my name as the creator and you can click and you can have a little look through everything that I've made. So yeah, check, check that out. I've just linked you the, the cheapest of the ones that I've made, uh, that's uh, minted, sorry. But yeah, you can go have a little look see at that. And you can see the other things that I have made that are just not minted for the sandbox. There are a lot of other things that I have created um that are just like personal like this is personal the witch's cottage that we've been working on this is a personal project so you won't see them on the sandbox yet uh what else is a personal project i'm i'm showing you far too much i shouldn't see half of that all right we'll just leave that no nope. i'll show you guys later Right, so we got that weird fish right there, and right, so that fish is done. Import, box edit. I'm not going to be in alignments. Where will you be? Right, right so from this we're going to call this uh plant node one one two three 
Right. Then one, two, three. I've got to place these. It's easier said than done when you're trying to place them in a giant friggin' aquarium. <laughs> So from here, I'm going to tilt this just slightly. And just tilt it to the side. we've done one right there and then to save time all i'm going to do is click on this plant node and click duplicate node and we're going to call it plant node two and now it's done the exact same and i'm just going to move it out and i can just wobble pull it about a little bit get this kind of thing done let me know what you got oh whoops wrong thing like the wrong thing um let me know what else you would like to see in this i don't know how i'm gonna make a blobfish fit in this it might be that i'll have to make it so just part of his face looks out from here but we'll try it or at least from this side and we're gonna do the same again so we're gonna grab we're gonna make that one small gonna get this and we're going to duplicate again and we're gonna call it plant node um number I'm going to make this one just slightly different. So I'm going to just rotate this this way. This one can also rotate Jimmy him to the side. And I'm actually going to add another one called stem four onto this one. And we're going to add this. Right here. I'm going to break up a little bit of what we're doing. Make it a little bit different. Alright, so we've done we've done that bit. And what I could have done was maybe put all of them into just this one. Because then I could move the entire lot. Just much easier. So I'm going to actually duplicate this and call this plant node one B. And Move it here. There we go, got that bit there.
So I'm thinking maybe a... Maybe like a little um, aquarium foam type thing. I'm just going to get like a little rock, rock formation. So what I'm going to do is going to go over to the modeler, create new. I'll get over to the correct folder. I've got so many folders here. This is this is beyond a joke how many folders I've got here. Right, uh, we want this to be aquarium. Uh, let's just call it De deco deco one. Uh, downloads. Right, so. I am gonna go with this sort of like greeny rock thing I've got going on here. Make it go up like that. Probably not that high. We can make edits as we go on and I just want to make it look like there's a hole without making it look like there's a hole for a fish to go through. This definitely needs to be bigger. But we'll we'll go we'll go with what we've got. Okay, that makes me pretty happy. Oh, am I fr I'm frozen. I froze. That didn't obviously the fix didn't work. Don't know why the fix didn't work, but that's worrying that it didn't. Um gonna do a quick check. That everything for that I'd done before. No, is that not the right one? No. It's over here. This is very complex. What what I'm making? It shouldn't be that complex. Here we go. All right, properties. No, I don't want... Yeah, so that's all saved. That... Yeah, that's turned on. Okay, so... That should be fine. Okay, I don't know why it's doing that silly thing then. But we'll keep an eye on it. But, um, no, we're just doing a lot of colouring right now. This this section isn't that complex. Right. Let's just pop this in. So we've built this, we've made a little decoration, we've clicked onto our animator and we've got to import it over to our animator. And remember where I've left it. Go, right. And then we're going to call this uh, Deco, Deco 1, which like what we've actually named it. Okay, it is actually quite large for the fish tank. It, it's the right size for the fish tank, but it is definitely... Definitely large enough for the fish tank. Sleep in a little bit. 
There we go. Right, let's give this a little bit of a colouring. Uh, I do want to... Make... Oh, hello. Make this a little bit lower. Oh. And we want to add like fake little brickwork to this bad boy right now. There's well, like a little bit of green, green algae stuff. Uh, you have done a lot of work. Um, I have, I have over, overruled, yes. But in terms of just making this aquarium, I've not actually done all that much. In terms of just this, this aquarium build. Okay, so all I've really done, all I've really done is I I made this. So let me just open this up. So I just made, I made, I did the whole thing. I filled this whole space with brown and then I got the paint tool, chose the gray color, colored up to the point where I wanted it to be done, the gray. And then I put this mirror image in here uh, got the erase tool so I could erase perfectly in the areas that I wanted it all gone and then from there I chose a color just below the shade that I'm using put it here click this button to make it light up and then I filled it all with water deleted half of the inside on both sides keeping this area here and did a design on both side, sides as well as doing a little decoration here. Now the full decoration side of it isn't fully done but I just wanted to get like the base of it built and I've just been using like different shades between one another to colour all of this in. And then with the fish on either side all I did was import a pre-made template. So I went to the templates, I selected the small fish, saved it, went back into the animator and made a fish um, node. So I went control, uh, create child node off of the control and then clicked import hierarchy, which allows you to import over those templates. And so I imported that, duplicated it to put the fish in. And then I also did a copy of the fish's body to then make a second weird looking fish creature. Now we're going to make another weird fish. We're going to call this uh, fish number three. Okay, we're going to call this fish three. Move it here. Now the difference between duplicating and doing a copy of that, if you duplicate something, any recolors you do will happen to the other one. Whereas when you make a copy, you can recolor that copy and put it on there and it won't affect the original one that you've made. Right, let's... Let's delete this whole thing. 
this crazy thing we've built. whether I'm going to be able to make a blobfish but we can definitely try is that too pink no that's too pink okay this one seems more okay This is going to be by far one of the weirdest things I've made. And we'll make it 13 just so I can move it over one. Give it like some of these big little feet. And I don't know. Does this does this look good for you, Andy? Are you still there? Does <laughs> is this what you wanted? some like weird little patches a little thing what am I doing hey X cotton how you doing I'm good thanks how are you right so we have made this weird we oh my gosh Andy where are you Andy, why are here only four like guys? I mean, my restream's saying like eight, so there's people in other places. But it just depends. Some people might not want to, might not want to watch Vox edit stuff. Each to our own, isn't it? Right, there we go, Andy. Andy, where are you? Oh, I'm gonna have to screenshot this monstrosity just to Andy. Just just so he can see it. I've got a question. Shoot, go for it. I am here for your questions. Right, I'm going to also duplicate this one. We're going to call this Fish 3B because it's going to go round to this side. Oh, I didn't uh, center it. Cool. I'm going to have to move this all over the place. Okay, move a little and to the side. Beautiful. Uh, looks great. There you go. 
Uh, can you show how you how do you, um, how you send those things you make to a game you're making? Like add them to the game. Okay, currently right now only people that have the artist tag can do that. So it's as simple as when you've completed something, you will click export export to marketplace now exporting it to the marketplace does not automatically mean that you're selling it as an nft it just means you've placed it on their marketplace and unless it gets minted anybody can add that to their game if you are looking in their marketplace and currently only people with the artist tag can do that but if you are in the marketplace anything that costs sand you've got you've got to pay for but anything that isn't minted you've just got these little plus buttons and you click those and oh my gosh that zombie bride is amazing um some of these are awesome by the way and you just click these and they're added for you to put into your game and use to make a game the issue is if then they decide to mint these if so let's say you know someone's made this table it's totally free for me to put into my game and use but if they mint this and i make a game and i want to have that game on the metaverse on a piece of land in the metaverse i would need to own that asset to be able to do that So, yeah. But that doesn't mean everybody's going to be minting absolutely everything. I know there's things that I'm, I've am i made that definitely that I won't be minting. There are ones that I will definitely be minting. I have some that are already minted. So it's not like absolutely everything is going to be minted that you're not going to be able to use anything. Now, that won't stop you from making a game and putting it on the game experience side. Um, and if you've clicked that plus button and then they mint it, you still have it in your inventory. You just can't upload a game into the metaverse without owning it. First fish blob in the sandbox. Exactly. Or as good as a fish blob as I can do. Look at him. So we've got fish blob number one over here and fish blob. Well, this is number one and this one's number two. Uh, yeah. Uh, I have to go look to you. Uh, I hope more people can watch you. Thanks. I appreciate that. I'm always streaming same time every week for these um, on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I will always be doing um, doing my streams on those days. Uh, right, sorry, I can't listen to your whole answer. No, don't worry about it. I mean, I, pre I pretty much answered it, but still, it's a very good question. And if anybody else needed to know that answer, now, now they have the answer. What an awful blob that he is in there. Maybe I can, like, just put him underground a little bit. There we go. It looks so sad. Poor blob. Right, what other weird... I think I'm just going to make like a weird ball creature. And we're going to make him... Choose a colour. Someone choose a colour. Right, fish number three. Fish four. Someone choose a colour. just not blue don't choose blue any color other than blue and probably not green unless i'm making something bright green but you know what i could do i could make it this green unless you guys come up with a color i'm making it this Green. You just love the colour green, or is that just me? Oh, 
that looks right. Okay. Right, that's that's what we've got going on here. And then we're going to give it some weird purple eyes. No one else is giving me a colour. just make this gray also light up because why the frig not and then let's give it some some tones here there and everywhere uh, and one more darker tones few places I mean if this doesn't look like a weird fantasy creature I don't know how I can please you guys it looks like some weird mushroom cat not mushroom cactus type villain that you would you would definitely be be trying to get rid of right create and we're gonna go fish four i'm actually going to have this animate fish four to come up and stuff so i'm gonna have it right there and i'm gonna have a uh, duplicate fish four b Yeah, okay, that's fish. Cool. Just gonna have this guy just tilt a little bit. He looks so happy! Why does he have to look, like, creepily happy? You can't tell me he doesn't look so sweet. Okay, we need some more plantage in here. I am thinking of just making something real, real simple in the modeler. Like I said earlier, because this whole tank is like the out, everything, anything animated and all the little bits are going to be inside the tank. And because the tank's a whole thing, I don't need to worry so much about the collision because everything's going to be inside. So. But there's no collision issue with this. I should really paint some sort of water thing up here, but it is what it is right now. I'm actually really happy with how I've decided to go about making making this tank look look like this. Anyway, let's pop over here and we're going to call this a uh, deco 2 save load okay, and I just want a simple little little plant life going on here uh, Wait, I need to see I need to see an aquarium okay wait we can do one of those no scrap scrap this idea away right, oh, wait till cool 
No, we can do one of those little... We'll make it purple. We'll make it very dark purple. We can do like... Just a purple blob, basically. But... Uh, deco 2. And I want bits coming off of this, so I'm just going to go deco to main. And not much room in this front bit, so we're going to have it over, over on this one. Okay, this is much smaller than I anticipated. Okay, we could probably probably go for something just slightly bigger than this which is good and edit this we'll do a five no we'll do a six by six six actually a six six by five we'll probably go up to a oh no oh my goodness go up to a five and then off of that we're gonna go um, stick on stick two stick three Just going to rotate these, put it in some weird places, give it just a weird look basically. I want it to look normal pretty much. coming sort of like off of the front lately there nice weird little thing Oh, whoops.
Okay, so I've just sorted like a whole bunch of stuff out. I'm just going to move everybody to their correct positioning. Right, and from here, we're just going to move the stem sets up. Where are they? Oh, I'm holding it, it's tiny. It's right there. So we're going to keep one in position, two, three. Rotate it that way. I rotate that there. Rotate that one slightly. Right, so we've done that. We're going to move on to set two. Wait, no, we're not. We're going to tilt it this way, move it up a little bit. So I'm being so quiet. I'm like really, really quiet. i uh, got to go off to stream. Great stream. No. Oh, I'm meant to be finished. Oh, it's been an hour already. I was really quiet there. I am so sorry. Okay, it's been an hour. Um, everybody go see Andy Ritchie. I'm just going to finish up this tank real quick. Um, so yeah, once once I finish, go, go watch Andy Ritchie. I did not even realize the time. Andy, I appreciate you saying that because I could have stayed here for another hour. And I have work. I have work I have work super early every every Friday. I always say it, but I, I do. I have work super early. So Andy, have a great, great stream. Um everybody go if you wanna know about the game maker and how to make awesome games, check Andy Ritchie out. I've said it numerous times. He makes brilliant games. Check him out. And he's over on um, Twitch. Right, I'm just going to finish stem set three off. And then I will be done. this one. I rotate that there. This is all, set. All, all of this is pretty much going to just rotate and this is kind of rotate. Right, let's get all these guys in position.
that there. Not super, super neat. There. Okay. Right. We've got got that sorted okay so what i'm gonna get done before this um i'm gonna save the animations i think we'll do the animations together next tuesday next tuesday i am doing two hours vox edit so we'll do this we'll work on the witch's cottage as well and hopefully some other bits i am almost finished with that witch's cottage i did a bunch of stuff off stream um well i say a bunch of stuff i added a back part did some coloring here and added some roofing um so we just need to do the front door we got to uh cover up this section and that should oh and the the wood paneling along the main bit of the house as well needs to be done so we'll get that sorted and we'll be doing that okay so i overran but that's all right but that's what we're going to be doing next tuesday i will probably be doing a stream over the weekend most likely axie infinity um if you do have any suggestions of other live streams on blockchain games you would like me to do or just any blockchain game at all if you're watching over on youtube then um leave a comment on this video with what you would like me to do don't forget to like and subscribe if you would like to you know watch more of my fun fun stuff let's transition to this cool right this is this is me ending my stream i'm very good at doing endings um totally anyway next sandbox stream i will be streaming officially for the sandbox on all their channels on monday 6 p.m gmt utc convert that to whatever you want where we do a bunch of stuff over there then on my own i will most likely do a stream over the weekend uh otherwise my next scheduled in stream is two hours tuesday that is also 6 p.m gmt utc convert that to your time for two hours vox edit and then um once again thursdays are always 7 p.m gmt utc convert that to whatever it is for you guys have a good morning afternoon evening wherever you are in the world goodbye like and subscribe guys like and subscribe